had a baby, that's impossible. Hey, girl. And I am very excited for everyone to meet the real me. What is up, my fellow quirky people? The month of May has been pretty big for us moviegoers and binge watchers. We've been offered a lot of content to stay hooked to the screens. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness became 2022's highest grossing movie to date. Moon Knight had its epic finale, and Disney Plus is ending the month with the double episode premiere of Kenobi. Meanwhile, Netflix offered us The Lincoln Lawyer, and the streamer will end the month with Stranger Things Season 4, Part 1. At the theaters, we're finally seeing Tom Cruise make his return at the big screen in Top Gun Maverick. But let me tell you that right from the beginning of June, we're going to be hit with loads of streaming content and theatrical films. There will be plenty to watch, and it will be hard to even choose what to watch. To start things off, Netflix will release a new movie called Interceptor. While Chris Hemsworth continues to impress us with his action movie outings, this time it's his wife's turn. Captain Collins reporting, sir. On June 3rd, Elsa Padigy stars in an action movie of her own where she plays Captain Collins of the US Army. She gets appointed on a remote missile interceptor station that becomes the last line of defense for the world. A team of Merces organize a coordinated attack on the platform and it will be upon Captain Collins to prevent the world from multiple nuclear strikes. On the same day, Amazon Prime Video is bringing back its biggest show, The Boys Season 3. The boys are coming back to continue their fight against the soups. The first three episodes drop on June 3rd itself, and the remaining five episodes are coming out on a weekly schedule every Friday. Homelander is going berserk, and that's not it. We are getting the most ruthless superhero, or rather super villain, Soldier Boy. Butcher, who hates these soups so much now, becomes one himself. Huey continues working for Victoria Newman's campaign against Vought, and he still doesn't suspect that his boss is a murderous, head-exploding superhuman herself. So it'll be interesting what twists and turns this season is going to bring for us. To compete with Amazon's biggest superhero show, Marvel is bringing their own new superhero, Miss Marvel. On June 8th, Miss Marvel begins her weekly episode journey on Disney+. Being inspired by the heroics of Captain Marvel, Kamala Khan becomes a new teenage superhero after she finds her grandmother's magically powered bracelet. Even though she is not an inhuman in the MCU, she will still introduce us to a new angle of cosmic superpowers. And we're gonna see her fight the new villains called the Jinn. Oh, and Bollywood fans should be excited because Farhan Akhtar is gonna join the party in a mystery role. On the same day, Netflix releases another amazing film prospect that is Hustle. Adam Sandler is starring and co-producing this film under his Happy Madison banner. He is playing an all-American basketball scout who gets fired in a very unfair and unruly manner. He will discover a once-in-a-lifetime player abroad and try to bring him to play in the NBA. That's going to be the path of his redemption. To follow it up, Universal Studios is going to release their big blockbuster event film, Jurassic World Dominion. Fallen Kingdom gave us a true tease of a Jurassic World as the dinos were released into the open world. Now, we're going to witness how the humans and dinos learn to coexist. It will be interesting to see if that happens, or will the dinos mark their dominion? You've got to be excited about this threequel, because this time around, the iconic trio of Alan, Ellie, and Ian Malcolm from the original Jurassic Park trilogy will reunite alongside Owen and Claire. Let's see which fancy dinosaur will Dr. Henry Wu create this time around on June 10th. And on the same day, Netflix will bring us Peaky Blinders Season 6. The six episodes have already aired on BBC, and now they are making their way onto Netflix. So those of you who have been waiting to binge the final season on the streamer would get it pretty soon. I won't spoil how things end for your favorite Thomas Shelby in this season. But don't worry, it won't be the ultimate end as a movie is set to follow season six soon enough. Then Netflix brings us a documentary called Halftime. On June 14th, Jennifer Lopez appears in a documentary on her life and her career. We're gonna see what happened behind the scenes while she got ready for all her mega performances. So all you JLo fans, be ready, cause she's coming to rock your world. After that, Netflix will release their big movie of the month, Spiderhead. On June 17th, Chris Hemsworth plays a brilliant visionary who experiments on his subjects with mind-altering drugs. He runs a state-of-the-art penitentiary where inmates arrive to volunteer for his new experimental drugs. In return, they are promised reduced sentences for the crimes they've committed. Along with Hemsworth, Miles Teller and Journey Smollett are the top build cast in this sci-fi thriller. On the same day, Disney Pixar are bringing us Lightyear. Chris Evans voices the original Buzz Lightyear on whom Toy Story's Buzz Lightyear toy line is based. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. We're gonna follow the legendary Space Ranger on an intergalactic adventure. He recruits a crew and adds a robot companion to take on the evil emperor, Zerg. 
This is one of Disney's and Pixar's billion dollar prospects of the year. So it will be interesting to see how the movie does. Another superheroes to counter the boys and Miss Marvel in June will be The Umbrella Academy season three. Netflix releases this highly anticipated season on June 22nd. The last season left us on a cliffhanger as the super family fought back in time, then returned to an alternate timeline, only to find the Sparrow Academy in charge. This isn't your home. What are you talking about? This is the Umbrella Academy. This is the Sparrow Academy. And now, our favorite heroes will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Sparrow Academy. Let's see how these guys are going to emerge victorious against a team that's supposed to be more functional and effective. Spoiler alert. Netflix clearly owns the month of June, as after this one, they're going to release Man vs. B Season 1. As the name suggests, this is a short comedy series about a man battling a bee. And guess what? Our favorite Mr. Bean actor, Rowan Atkinson, is going to be the man that takes on this wretched bee. This show arrives on June 24, and on the same day, Netflix will also bring us Money Heist, Joint Economic Area Season 1. Money Heist has been among Netflix's biggest international shows, and it ended its story last year. But now, we are getting a Korean remake of the popular Spanish series. Let's hope that at least some elements are going to be different so that the series gets a better viewership worldwide. WB will be releasing Elvis. The film explores the life and music of Elvis Presley, who is played by Austin Butler. In this biopic, we're also going to see Tom Hanks play Colonel Tom Parker, who is the enigmatic manager of Elvis. Their 20 years of dynamic relationship is going to be brought to life in this musical drama. Next up, HBO will bring us Westworld Season 4. On June 26th, we'll finally get the first episode of HBO's hit sci-fi series, Westworld. The series will also arrive on HBO Max. Over the last three seasons, we've witnessed a very talented and expansive cast being showcased. And in season four, we're gonna see Jeffrey Wright and Aaron Paul making their return. Then finally, Disney Plus will end our month with Baymax. The last time we saw Baymax was in 2014's hit superhero outing, Big Hero 6. Now on June 29th, he will make his return in an all new series. Here, he tries to do exactly what he was programmed to do. That is help others. My apologies. Please enjoy your ramen. But things don't go exactly his way. So it'll be interesting to see how Baymax understands the way this world truly works. Okay, that is all from our list of projects which are set to release in June. Which of them are you truly excited about? Let us know in the comments. Smash those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.